In a world of vast land, lush fields, and tumultuous seas, one deity stands between man and ocean. What the ocean goat is guarding remains a secret. But if there's one thing that I know for certain, it's that the ocean goat is moving. Hi. My name is Basti, and welcome to Basti Plays Minecraft. The fact that the goat is moving is a breakthrough. I've been thinking that the goat stands still, but yesterday, this dirt road was centered to the goat. Ocean goat is moving. Where to? Who knows? Maybe one day we'll find out. But today is not that day. Today, we are going to make progress on our city. Because I have some fun plans. And if you didn't see, I have a new chest plate. And it is beautiful. Yesterday on stream, I turned this boring diamond chest plate into a netherite one. And I put some wonderful little armor trims on it. And if you don't want to miss such things, you should catch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash But for now, let's move on with the wonderful plans I have for the city. So let's talk about this city, shall we? This is going to be a bit of a project. And for this project, I'm gonna need materials. And if we're gonna start talking about materials, we're gonna have to start talking infrastructure. No, I'm not talking about city infrastructure. I'm talking about world economics. That's right. Even a single player world like this one has its own economy. How? You may ask, well, I'll explain it simply. Materials have certain values, and some materials are more expensive than others. Dirt, super cheap. Stone, super cheap. Dark oak, that's a bit more expensive. Why? Well, time. Time is the big thing here. And just like the ocean goat slowly drifting towards his final destination, so am I. And I don't have infinite amount of time. Not that I'm going away anytime soon, or any year soon, even. Doesn't matter, really. Time is expensive. Time is what we measure everything by. And I would like to spend my time doing fun stuff and not grinding materials. So, we're gonna need some farms. First of all, we're gonna need a moss farm, and a cactus farm, and a quick way to get some sugar cane. Most of these things can be turned into passive farms, which is really nice, especially for the amount of rockets I'm currently going through. I currently have a double chest of gunpowder, and I haven't been to my gunpowder farm since I built it. Yeah, that thing pumps out gunpowder like nobody's business. But that pitiful little field of sugarcane is not supplying me enough paper to keep demand up. So, sugarcane farm, cactus farm for all the green that I'm currently using and am planning to use more of, and a moss farm for basically the same reason. And also because these roads, oh my lord, do they take a lot of moss. And I'm tired of going around with a hoe and bone meal, although I do have a lot of bone meal, so that's not an issue. But the moss is. So, I suggest we find a suitable location and start constructing some farms. I know this sounds like a side tangent, but, but, but we're, re we're really going to work on the city this time, I promise. This episode, we will work on the city. Although we do really need to do this first. So, how about we peruse this wonderful land of mine to see if we can find a suitable spot for some farms. 
then maybe get out of the rain. Hmm, let's see, in here maybe? No, there's hardly enough space for a farm in here. Hmm. I could cover this up and have a farm in here, but still not really enough space, is there? One of these buildings could do. But I do kind of want to make interiors for these, so I don't guess not. But what about in here? Yeah, in fact, there should be plenty of space in here. Oh, and would you look at it? This perfectly shaped hole. Huh? With a cactus farm already inside it would probably be optimal for what I'm looking for. Yeah, I know. I, I, I got ahead of myself and I built the cactus farm already. Don't judge. But it doesn't matter. The cactus farm is not fun anyways. The fun part is this one. The, what's it called? Sugarcane farm. Yeah. So I've started to dig out some space here so that we can accommodate this farm. I'm using mud blocks because they should be slightly lower than dirt blocks and I should be able to pick up items from on top of there with hoppers underneath. So I think this will be a good start. I'm gonna have a little bit of a think about how to do this farm and I might even just do it and then we'll talk about it. I know, I know, what an amazing farm, Basti. Did you come up with this yourself? You know I didn't. It's just a bog standard farm, and, and besides, it's, it's quite a small one. But it's not the size that matters, it's how much it can produce. And this puppy has been going for a whole hour and we have got 16 sugar canes. It's not effective, I might, I might build more, more layers of this. But for now, this is it. The good part about it is that it's passive. So while we're working up here, we will passively be making sugar cane. Which is a really, really good thing. And besides, this cactus farm right here is proving pretty effective. I don't know when I'll use all of that, but at some point, maybe, I need a super smelter as well. I think this will be like a passive farm area, so I might build in a super smelter somewhere around here. I will also have to build a room for the moss farm. I'm not entirely sure on where that is gonna end up, but... Somewhere around here should be a good spot. Let me see if I can find something. And by finding something, I mean digging another hole. This is going to be the location of our moss farm. It will be beautiful, it'll be taking up most of this space, and it will give me moss, that's the important part. And bone meal, lots of bone meal, and moss, all of it. It'll be amazing. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna build it. I'm building it now. Doesn't look like it, but I'm building. Oh, golly gosh, I'm building it right now. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. People, we have moss. And look at this farm. Isn't she beautiful? This is a design by Mr. Buzuki. I'll leave a link to the tutorial that I used for this one in the description down below. And it seems to be working fine. I think it's for an older version of Minecraft, but as far as I've been testing it, it works fine. 
I've only just started this one, so I won't expect much, but, like, we've got some stuff already. We'll get all the moss things here. Carpets, Cecilia, moss block, seeds and all that. And in here will be the surplus of the bone meal. It should be fully AFKable and all of that good stuff. So, moss should not be a problem anymore. And I can gladly update you that after a whole night of AFKing, we now have a few stacks of sugar canes. So, I mean, it does produce sugar cane, it's just not very fast. But when it comes to the cactus, well, it does produce some. I really need to set up a storage for cactus somewhere and probably a super smelter, but that is a problem for later. For now, I want to start constructing the city. People, welcome one and all to Main Street. This is going to be the centerpiece, the hustle and bustle of the city. And this is the layout I have gotten to so far. Uh, don't worry, it will be much higher and the ground will look different. We'll get to that shortly. I just wanted to introduce you to the idea. So this is the idea I have for now, for the streets and for, for at least this part. There will be some back alleys and such cool things. Like, you can come down through this alleyway right here. It might be a little bit small, but you can come in from this side at least and walk back here. Maybe some dumpsters and things will be hiding here. Now that we have the shape of the houses in place, I would like to get started on the ground. It will be here. The ground will be where the ground is. Uh, mostly where the air is actually, but you know what? That doesn't matter. It will be here. That's the point. No, oh, confused. I lost my train of thoughts. Right now, I would like to get started on the ground. In the air. Making the street. Yeah. Let's do that. Wow. Th this part is kind of boring actually. So you know what? I decided why not talk over it, you know? It's been a while, we can talk person to person like this. Hi, how you doing? You must be tired watching me play dirt at this point. There's been a whole lot of dirt placing in this last episode, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, don't worry, soon we'll be building buildings again. And I know you're excited, I am. At least I hope you're excited. You you are excited, right? 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 You're excited, right? Right? For For, for buildings? Yeah, I thought so. Hey, hey, wait, how, how long is this dirt placing segment? It's, it's going on for a while now, isn't it? How much dirt do we think I have? He must be running out soon. Wow, this is a lot. I have now regained my senses and we've got some ground. This is the ground level I'm thinking for the city. I've put some of these barriers here to easily visualize where the roads go. Most of this area I think is gonna be kind of flat, might make some hills here and there, but mostly flat. And this is like Main Street, goes up a bit and then comes down. And these all concrete pillars of doom are supposed to be houses. At least my plans for houses. So hopefully they'll turn into houses, we'll see. We'll, we'll see about that one. But, but that's a plan, and I think Let's actually build these guys up a little bit so we can see like what kind of heights I want to work with. And then I think I want to get started on building one of these houses today. And the next time maybe we'll build some more of them. Why is it always raining? Really? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to work in the thunder as well, huh? Well, nothing to it. Let's just work through the rain. Actually, no, let's just sleep. And once we wake up, I'm sure all the houses will be as tall as we want them to be. Because of movie magic. Ah, yes, movie magic works every time. And I might have gotten a bit carried away, as usual. But now you can see where the roads are. And walking down Main Street is now way more satisfying. And now... You can also clearly see 
the shape of a city. I didn't want to imagine what that roof would look like, so I didn't. I wasn't planning on imagining any of the roofs, but some of them I just got a bit too carried away with. So, you know, sometimes it happens that way. And now it did. So, having the city plan here is all well and good, but I do feel like we kind of need some buildings. So, if you don't mind, I'll get to building one of them. So why don't you sit back, relax, and I'll do a little bit of a time lapse of me building it. I'm currently hiding, observing, watching even, the ocean goat. Because, well, as I said in the beginning, he's moving. And look at this. He's now along this block. When we started, he was right here. So as you can see, he's clearly moving. But where is he going? I guess we're gonna have to find that out. Anyways, I built some on the city. You saw that, because you, you watched. You watched the, you watched the timeline, didn't you? Huh? You watched it? Look! There's a building here now, and it's kind of beautiful. There's some details I need to figure out, like what to do here, but I think I will do some banner stuff here. That will come later. I put some here, but I think this is a kind of a cool building. I've put some trees here for now, but I'm gonna remove them later on. Don't worry. Hold on, let me sleep. Look at it. It's actually really pretty. I mean, as I said, there's details. I need to put in some new more details here and there, but I will figure out those details as we continue building the city, so that's not a problem. But it's so nice to actually have the first building done. And it's starting to look a bit cooler when you look down like this. As you can see, this is probably, hopefully, going to cover all of this road, so you don't really see through there. My plan is that when you walk along here, you're not gonna be able to see all the way through to the end until you get to around here. And it's gonna open up the view. It's all about viewing angles here. I'm gonna do the same thing for like the streets back here as well. All the curvy ones here and back here as well. There's gonna be buildings all over this thing. When we're done, not yet. And look at this. If you come up here to our lovely Bass Town. We haven't been here in a little bit. I always like coming back here. But anyways, that's not what we're here for. Look at the skyline. This is going to be so nice. You can see, we've got a new little building adding to it. I want at least the roofs to be seen when you come around here. Which they currently are. That, that yellow really adds something to this, doesn't it? I am so excited to build this. It's ridiculous. We're gonna be building this for a while now. But we might also do other fun stuff, like there is a few items I would like to get my hands on, but not for now. Let's not talk about this now, because this is unfortunately going to be the end of the episode. This is all I've got time for. So I would like to thank you all so much for watching. And if you liked the video, please leave a like and maybe a comment in the comment section down below. If you want updates and want to know when I release videos, you can always subscribe to the channel and join my Discord. Link will be in the description. So once again, thank you all so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a good day, morning, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are. Bye!